All right. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to EVAC at Adelaide Uni. My name is Kaiser. We're here with a uh, round robin tournament with the six players that we have today. We got myself, we got McLeod, we got Swagman, new guy on the block, MC, Caleb, uh, Scalpy's here, and I think Scalpy's friend is also coming. Actually, I think Scalpy's got a friend coming. Okay. So we're going to. Okay, cool, cool. So it's a seven. All good. So it's going to be seven people in this round robin, which will be awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just about ready to go. And uh, yeah, we'll get some games on stream very soon. Thank you. 
not doing round robin?
Okay, what's up, folks? Oh my god, that's so loud. Jesus. That's quite loud. Okay. No way, two Falcos. Yes, exactly. I mean, uh, Falcos actually aren't that common here in Adelaide, if I'm going to be 100% honest. Are we level still? Yeah, we're level. Cool. Alright, it's two Falcons, actually. That's what's going down. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm all set up on the stream side of things, and I just need to, like, post the stream now. There we go. Oh, did I plug these into the fucking wrong ports? I sure did. That's funny as hell. So... Alright, we got game one between Caleb and Scalpy on stream. And we're in the opposite ports. I assume Caleb's with the first one. Just a just an educated guest. <laughs> just an educated guest, you know? Okay, um, I think we're good on the stream side of things now. Thank God. Um, okay, cool. Looks like we're all good. Um, I just need a... I just need a post.
that's a GG. Well done to Caleb. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm good now. It sure was. Okay. All right, I'm all set up. Thank God. Okay, folks, I'm back on the stream. Um, how are we going? Is the audio all right? Do I need to turn the game or the microphones up or down? Let me know. Um, yeah, at the moment, I'm sort of waiting to play some matches. So I'm just sort of chilling right now. Um, yeah, audio all good, folks in chat? Uh, yeah, so we have McLeod and Caleb up right now. Caleb off of a close set with Catherine on Sunday night. Well, not really close. It was just a, he almost clutched was the thing about that set, actually. Um, McLeod, though, yeah, looking too strong, as always. Just one of those players who knows what to do uh, to just absolutely own people. Alright, sounds great. Thank you, Lapis. Much appreciated. Alrighty. Yeah, so we're into this. We're into this mess now. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, um, yeah. So here we are. Out of you Uh, and yeah, so the format for today is we're doing a first of two round robin. Um, and then like, uh, yeah, whoever's, whoever's the top two will, um, play in a, like a best of five grand finals. Um, yeah, because we have uh, we have a couple new people here, so like just to kind of get them a few more games, we are going to do round robin. Oh, that was sick! Oh shit! All right, McLeod going one up. Very nice. It, it is fun, Peach. It really is. Okay. It really is fun, isn't it, Peach? <laughs> I think the gain. It just should not be up, we should, and we don't want any compressor. We're just going to do levels only. Alright, game two, back to battlefield. A dash attack out of the gate from McLeod and a retaliation knee from Caleb. Uh, we're going to get out of crouch cancel descent pretty quickly. Nice grab. Alright. Um, yeah, so Caleb was playing uh, Catherine earlier on Sunday. And it was looking not too bad um, in at least the second set they played. It was really pretty close, actually. Douche.
of here. Caleb Champ, no not today. All right. Um, yeah, I don't have anyone I can play yet. Me and Caleb? Okay. Caleb running the gauntlet right now. Love it. Let's get me in there. Okay. Hello, we got a Caleb, uh, Caleb gauntlet for you, ladies in chat. Uh, um, this one. Yeah. Got Caleb versus Kaiser's Young Link next. It's not Kaiser's Young Link. It's actually just Kaiser. Caleb did not seem happy with our set. Which is fair, because I also was not happy with our set. And that's okay. This is the most beginner-friendly evac we've ever had. It's kind of it's kind of sick, actually. It's cute. I might just keep Caleb on the stream the whole night. That'd be kind of funny. Alright. I'm looking forward to my Kai sets, actually. Uh, let's see if it's all close. How are we feeling about Caleb's odds in the stream? It's uh, this is going so fast. Best of three is kind of crazy. Um, we might have to tag in a commentator. You guys finish? Uh, I'll play, uh, I haven't played you yet, so let's play Pine. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, gamers, how's the Caleb going? Is this game two? Is game one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that was game two. Caleb with a sad fist bump. Surely we get Caleb on for one more. Do you want to go, Kai? Sure. Let's run it. All right, we got Kai me. Hello gamers, if anyone can hear me, let me know if sound is loud enough. We've got Kai V. McLeod. Battle as old as time. I think this is round three maybe. Have you seen, this is probably the most storied matchup of the past six months in SA Smash. Kai, when Ranked came out, had a bit of a renaissance, some may call it. He got a lot better very, very quickly. He uh, got chewed out by uh, Joshman in general chat, and it changed his outlook on life. He's eating better, his skin looks better, you know. And we've got an ad break for a minute and a half, so insanely obscene <laughs> shit to the people that uh, don't have ad block on on Twitch. Oh really? Well, so can you move your mic up a little bit just closer to your face? Testing. There we go. That's a little better. This is the worst time for an ad. Oh! That was sick. The Turner catch. You played much against Peach before? No, sir. No, sir? I played the cloud last week and it did go well. Yeah. I don't think it goes well for most people <laughs> if that means anything. It's a real gamer. I love that down air slide off down air. Yeah. Kai's got some filthy uh, movement combos. Oh, nice power shield. Dude, what's this going on? Holy shit, Kai reacted quick out of the power shield. Though. Yeah. You, you just kind of have to expect it at this point, you know? They play each other like, in grand finals almost every week. Oh, the classic peak. Get, yeah, getting caught in the ceiling it. fan, dude. What do you even... It's so frustrating to get hit by that because you know it's coming. You know the Peach player is just thinking, hmm, down on yellow stick. That seems like a good option. <laughs> yeah, evens it up. Evens it up. It's probably... I mean, Peach loves getting kills off of stray hits. She does it a lot better because she hits so fucking hard. So. It's not like a character like... Uh, I'd say Falco really does not kill off of stray hits very often. Man, I thought saying smart stuff on comms would be so much easier. <laughs> it, it, uh, you just gotta say shit no matter what. If there's one thing I've learned is that the most receptive commentary is just when people are having fun on the mic. It doesn't really matter if it's good or not. Unless you're like, like this isn't Evo, you know? This isn't the big house. This is a SA local. So why not get a feel for the local scene? Those shines were nuts. They always are. Have you worked on your double shine game yet? I've got an okay double shine, but nice. 
No more than two. No more than two? Nope. I, I think it's harder to multi shine with Falco than Fox. Why? Uh, the timing's different. With Fox, you just mash it. I play so much Fox, and it's literally just mashing, and you, and you can like get like 16 fucking multi shots. It's like a 1 2, 1 2. Yeah, it's w much different. But man, his shield pressure is brutal. Holy shit, last dog. Last dog. Nice back air. This is a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice back. This is a lot more even than, uh, than one might think. Look at this, just sitting. That's so hard for Falco to like reliably cover Peach being directly under. You never really want that to happen. Because you whiff it down there and then all of a sudden you're getting knocked up by upper and you're putting this awful tech chase. Oh, that's... All right, he's got no jump, but up here is very... He's going to go high. No, nope, goes low. Nice. No, that was really clean. Game one. F5. There we go. How are you enjoying the SA local scene? Oh, I'm so loving far. it. Loving it? Everyone's so welcoming. Basking in it. I got my first win today, so... Woo! Give it up. <laughs> Everybody in chat, I don't know, donate. <laughs> yeah. Or something. It should be good. There we go. I think I play Swagman soon. Oh. I think, fingers crossed, I could take one. Have you heard the displeasure of... Playing against Nay talking to Swagman? <laughs> I've had both. <laughs> <laughs> no! And you still like this scene? What a travesty. Swagman, maybe the most goblinoid human to ever walk the face of the earth. Both plays Falcon and, uh, I don't know, just is Swagman. Man, it's so painful to watch Falco in disadvantage state for like a long period of time. Yeah, especially with a punish game like McLeod's. Like, look at that. He just gets a a back air at 0% and ends up netting a grab off of it so far. That shit is very, very difficult to do. Swagman's an insecure puff main type of Falcon. All right. I don't know how to take that as a puff main. Hey, make it rain. Make it rain, it's MC on comps. We played last night on. Ooh. <laughs> Did you win? Um, well, my girlfriend made soup, so I had to leave right away. Oh, uh, what? I'm she gonna made say, <laughs> I'm gonna say rain usually wins. <laughs> rain takes 9 out of 10. Sorry, man, gotta go. Soup is ready. <laughs> my girlfriend makes good soup. What kind of soup is it? It's chicken soup, and I like lots of protein, so it's like yep. four chicken breasts in there. Damn. That is an insane amount of protein. Poor chicken bread. Is it flavored with anything other than chicken? Was it just chicken and hot water? <laughs> chicken and chicken broth. Yeah. That's how I like it. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm a big fan of uh, scrambled eggs every morning. Yeah? Yeah. Well, whenever mornings I can be bothered to like, buy eggs because they're such a pain in the ass to keep for a long time. I eat Very six, easy to cook. I eat six scrambled eggs every morning, like religiously. And With in butter? Australia, or? that's so expensive. Yeah, they are. <laughs> are they, are they cheaper rent? in Canada? So much cheaper. Really? Is, yeah. yeah. It, we, we've been getting price gouged by uh, the local super, well, local supermarkets. Record profits. If you're a true Australian, or even just staying here, remember to shoplift at Woolies. <laughs> I shoplift every time I'm there. Pick up a thing of monsters. They don't know the difference. The, the trick is, if anyone's listening, you scan, you get a four pack of monsters and you scan the can and it fucks up and somebody will come along and say, oh no, no, no worries. Like, because there's no way you're buying a single can. So, and they, like if this is in a four pack, the barcode doesn't go through. That's genius. Yep. And then you get a a free thing of monsters every time. Which if you're a sleep deprived oh whoops, sleep deprived uni student like me, it's brilliant. You know the T V show My Name is Earl though? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I kinda of believe it like not legitimately, but I think karma's a thing. Like I had to pick up trash on my way here so I'd get my first dub. So <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be getting monsters <laughs> like that, bro. <laughs> Maybe that's why my controller broke, because I keep shoplifting from Wallies. <laughs> you buy one less monster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that controller's working perfect. You know, I watch a, uh, quite a lot of Le Letterkenny. 
that's in a, a Canadian show, right? Yeah. Quite good. So. Yeah, very funny show. I'm sure a lot of it goes over my head, considering I'm not from there. I do want to move to Canada, actually, yeah. for a working visa after I finish my course. Yeah. You get a working visa uh, for up to one year after you finish a course. Holy uh, uni shit. course. So I love that soft hit out there. How good, man. You gotta get in touch with me. Gotta After get in this, touch. <laughs> get some good recommendations <laughs> on Home Sweet Home. Stay in a... Become AMSA. Yeah, become I'll, AMSA. I'm a little different than AMSA, man. Built different. Built, di built worse, as they say. <laughs> Bro's got a wife. Uh, plays melee at a high level. He tweets that he's like deadlifting two plates and shit. What? He's like, hell yeah, AMSA. AMSA's deadlifting two plates? That's, that's insane. That's like pretty good. Yeah, have you <laughs> seen the dude, man? Yeah, that's true. He's very... He's probably got more muscle than me. I'm what the pros call, and bodybuilders call, skinny fat. If you don't know, it's a really hard physique to attain. Become Josh? I'll be right. I don't like growing a beard. Or being like fucking 6 foot 10 or however, however tall Josh is. He's a big, big dude. I think... There was a match with Josh playing on Pokemon Stadium with transformations, and he's playing against Spark or someone with glasses, and they're sitting on opposite sides, and Spark goes to, like, they're waiting out the transformation. Spark goes to wash his glasses, and then Josh acts like he's about to run in, and it's, like, the funniest <laughs> moment. <laughs> he, like, psychs him out. Yeah. That's so good. That's such a Josh man thing to do. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Damn, man, you've just got to... He's camping him out so hard right now. Jab Shine is cool. Yeah. Well, Kai is amazing at uh, at this matchup. I'd say... It would be almost impossible for any Peach other than the player in the country to take it. Poor Spark? No, not Poor Spark. Spark plays Sheik, right? Yeah. Plays a lot with CPU Zero. Shout out to CPU Zero. One of the most helpful people in the Jigglypuff Discord. Yeah. Uh, taught me how to RTC rest. Fuck CPU Zero. Fuck you, Ren. Man, Actually, I, I don't mean that. Man, I don't want to say anything mean, but I feel like I could RTC rest. <laughs> yeah, you, you should give it a crack. It's the, the difficulty of it is like, it's hard. If you fuck it up, you're in three seconds of lag. And same with like any rest. You cannot. Yeah, I can RTC <laughs> rest as well. Yeah, Rain, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> Do it! Dude, Kai was up three stocks. Yeah, but you forgot the McLeod factor. See this guy fucking punch the air? It's all over for you. You scooch this guy into frame a little bit. There we go. He just did that IRL. I didn't move anything on the stream. McLeod's got uh, wheels on the bottom of his chair. And he controls them with his fucking cheat box. How can this man show that much? It powers him up. I'm genuinely convinced that McLeod's fucking mental. If he his will to win is so much greater than any mental tilt that he gets on. Oh, that was foul. I was sure that what an ang, sure man. That. What an ang. Call oh, that one the mangle. The M2K angle. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Ah, very insightful Lapis Lazulu 323. Unfortunately, not Lapis Lazulu. <laughs> <laughs> on stream? Well, I bet. I guess I gotta play on stream. Pray for me, boys. All right. Go fourth docks. Ooh, first set on stream for MC. But it's just Lapis? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I thought I was going to be able to play some melee today with uh, some fortunate o 2 but there is no O2ers. It's gamers all the way through. Falco Blue. Falco Blue. If you guys don't know, we have three Falcons and three Falcos at this tournament. And one Peach. What the fuck is happening? 
Good day to be a Fal Falcon player. Sorry for not showing up. Oh, it's okay, dude. Who said that? Who said, that? Who, who said sorry, sorry for not yeah, showing up? Yeah, I can't read the chat. It's yeah. make it rain diamonds. <laughs> Hashtag bring back Tish. Tish is here, man. He's just uh, busy. He's been around a lot. Make it rain diamonds. Come to a local. I'll pay for your entry. And if you can't, go to Big Cheese. And if you can't, I'll shout your entry to Big Cheese. That's not true. No, you will not, not shout $70 to fucking... Make, make it rain. $50. Yeah, dude, if you, you can get scrounge together in the in the fucking cushions of your seats in your house and you can find another 30 on top to get your entry to the game as well, on top of the 50 that I will throw you, I'll put you into Big Cheese. That's not true. He's lying. I'm not lying. I pay for people's first locals. If, unless you come to one of these first, in which case I'll write, much rather shout this. However, don't tell my boyfriend because I... I, I <laughs> told him about that I was like I might shout Rain's entry and my boyfriend told me that he would fucking leave me so. lol <laughs> he base said, he so said, base <laughs> oh my god I, I hope you. I see him at the fuck at Cranky tonight dude that is amazing <laughs> <laughs> let's go swag man's boyfriend <laughs> he said you owe me so much money if you give money <laughs> to a fucking kid in smash that is so true you have outstanding debts your boyfriend's a loan shark dude <laughs> Oh, is this MC Kai? Wait, is Kai in the lead? No, I mean, sorry, is MC in the lead? No. My boyfriend's a load of shit. Gonna wake up with fucking a pig's, a dead pig's head. Well, a horse's head in your fucking bed. Oh, no. You see, uh... Oh, man, I was... I, need, I have a few things to learn about, uh, Falcon Dittos. Alright. Such uh, as? Well, like... I need to learn his roles. Because, okay, so when you play Fast Fallers, I've been neglecting Fast Fallers my whole life by switching to Falco in tournament. Right. I've been sandbagging pretty much. And I realized how bad I am in the matchup. And right. here we are at a Fast Faller thing, and I'm paying my penance. And you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm, I played for the first time since I came here to South Australia. Like, we played like one Falcon match and then I never played Falcon again I was like this is miserable what? tonight we played a Falcon set and you know what if you count stocks I did pretty good last stock both games yeah. me. but hey someone's gotta lose you know? that's true and you know what losing is how you get better exactly or winning you, as well Swagman has figured it out folks I'm, I'm not afraid to lose as Falcon anymore I'm gonna let Mango know that Mango Muncher? Or Mango the the guy from America that we made? Yeah, the melee player that most people attribute to the word Mango. That one. <laughs> okay, well, I think most people attribute the word Mango to the fucking fruit. I'm sh I assure you there's like a, a <laughs> billion people plus in India who eat Mango Chutney. And none of them are like, yeah, the fucking guy from the Dude! It's so out of context. I'm not How talking is that out of context. You said the word mango belongs to the dude. It clearly doesn't. I didn't say fucking mango Gujarati, dude. I said mango, the player. If I lose to another BB. Holy shit. I'm gonna enter BB. I'll come on to my migraine get cleared up. Hope that gets cleared up for you as well. Yeah, that's crazy. I wish I had. No, I don't. That's. <laughs> dude, they're so bad. No, I was gonna say, like, I had some chronic pain to John with, but I really wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> wish I had cystic fibrosis so I could explain my 0 and 2 set. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I, yeah, no, that's horrible. Yeah, I would have really beat um, my celiacs flared up against Caleb. <laughs> You're gonna walk into the next evac with all your fucking hair shaved off. <laughs> Sorry guys, but <laughs> you came like with Walter White. Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. You I'm SD and you're like, ah, oh, damn, that camo really getting me. I just look at the, the hole with a needle in it. Ah, oh, <laughs> sigh loudly. <laughs> you walk around with a fucking violin music and your a speaker in your backpack and, like and a Geiger those... counter. <laughs> And I got, I got one of those, like, uh, the IV on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Just following me around everywhere. Oh, time to play some mellow. Oh, <sighs> Don't go wait. easy on me. <laughs> 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 wow, two are you. Kaiser. Holy not, shit. Not <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking good. <laughs>
<laughs> you take the, a big fucking IV drip on the bus, dude. You're like <laughs> struggling to get it up. Because you know dude. Smash players aren't driving anyway. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear you on the SA comms flag. Oh, shit. I wish you came, I Mason. Died. The big surprise was supposed to be that I'm actually I'm a permanent resident of SA. Oh. I told everyone I moved to Queensland purely for, for laughs. Um, yeah, I thought when I saw you at Cranker, that'd be the last time I ever, ever saw Swag, you. man. And you were depressed. You were like, I was so happy, man. <laughs> you I were was like, dude. <laughs> I, I was fucking... You're like, I don't even have to drink tonight. I feel amazing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but boy, did I drink. Uh. I felt fine, though. You know, once you hit the ripe old age that I'm at, yep. you start having very long hangovers. It so. turns out... Really? You don't yeah. drink anymore? No, I drink a lot. Oh. But it... It the, just hurts more. Yeah, it hurts. It fucking puts you out for a while. I don't drink at all. Um, occasionally, I will. Like once, I I realize it's like once every month now. So that's the once a month. Oh, I mean, like I realized it. Like I was just like I'll drink when I feel like, and it's becoming like systemic. It's like all, almost a, a pattern. Yeah. I'm going to cricket tonight. Are you? Yeah. All right, I'll avoid you. No worries, dude. I avoid you every time I go. <laughs> so it, it goes both ways. The one dude. time I've seen you. At <laughs> Oh, should I go on stream right now and play MC? Because these motherfuckers are... Oh, yeah, you haven't played MC yet. Alright, Swagman's hopping off. I really, really want an O2 to play with. Alright. My brain is not functioning tonight. Swaggy manual. No, let the coaching continue. Huh? Aloha. Okay, hey folks, how we going? Huh? Oh, it's good games, good games. A little fist bump. Right, I'll play. MC I'll play is fine. a real yeah. people's yeah. person, yeah. and Kai's immediately off. God damn it, dude! On one hand, I want to play games with people. On the other, I don't want to leave this set up unattended. I think when grand finals comes along, somebody else can hop on. I haven't played CRT melee in so long. I'm just here bitching on the mic at this point. I enjoy doing comms, but goddamn. I shouldn't have uh, played Tarkov all day. That's my bad. I'll let uh, Kai said you. Kai know you said hi, Ren. Alright, real talk, Ren. How did you find uh, MC's performance? Sorry, I'm drinking. MC will win this? Alright, let's go. If they go Yoshi's, I swear to God. Holy shit. What a swag man. Oh, sorry, I gotta put this in zero zero. Oh my god, he's camping him out. Oh, what the fuck? Look at that face, that stank face. Unhappy. Unhinged even. Much like a Falco player should be. God damn it, dude. Swagman's too fucking tall. His arms don't fit in the camera. Oh no, he dropped his controller. Let's see if rain prediction will come through. Swagman is, uh, I'd like to say he approaches neutral a lot smarter than a lot of players. He's just like let down by his punish game. See, like that up here is so smart. If he just hits the tech there, he probably gets there. Nice. Ends up tech chasing. Oh, and just gets clipped by a get up attack. Not what you want to say. MC's music is better than Swagman's gameplay. Does MC make music? Damn. That was actually a really nice name. God. 
That's what we call the swag, man. Just wrap the boost at full screen. Hope it hits. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> MC makes music and it's incredible music. You're talking about music like an alien that's never heard music before. He makes music. The music is so good. That sounds like Trump, actually. I'm not going to do a Trump impression. It's kind of tacky. L? Oh, I thought he was going to put it as L. It's Leon instead. Imagine uh, Swagman's a big Resident Evil fan, maybe. It's probably not true. I don't think Swagman can play any other games besides Melee. Maybe Tarkov, uh, CSGO. Do you know, are you in on this bit? <laughs> help, help me, Leon. <coughs> you big Resident Evil fan, army wife? Interesting counter pick to uh, FD, by the way. Considering uh, MC's unwillingness to play on the platforms, this isn't super surprising. And his strong laser gun. Wow, that back air should not have worked. Army Wife is a big fan of being awesome. That's so true. I don't know if anyone has a problem with Army Wife. She's just the homie. Pretty sensational tag, honestly. Oh, wow, that is actually such a nice short. End. I'm epic swag. You are epic swag, I'm not. Should I uh, smurf as you on unranked and call myself like military spouse? Play my Falco. That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh my god, what is he doing? He still ends up cleaning it up anyway. Military spouse is my name in Coffee server. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. Honestly, I didn't expect the bit to be original, but I didn't expect it to be that played out already. So Coffee Rex has a server? The fuck? Oh, he got him, gets back. He just hits him with a Randy F's man. Raw. Raw X day. Nice. Oh, just not able to connect it. He needs to work on wave dashing out of these. Just wave dash forward or back and just be quick on the reaction. It's like right now, he's winning a lot in neutral, just off of shine alone, but not really getting much off of it. Nice. Oh, dude. It's like tech chasing with such high committal options, and he's just getting fucked for it. He's not in enough lag. Nice. Catches. Actually huge combo for Swagman. Oh wow. The F tilt is what saves him. Big. Oh we go for a back air there, surely. This might be death. Oh my god, stop! What is this guy doing? Oh, okay. Deserved. Deserved SD. Here we go. Doesn't get anything again. That was good SDI though, to be fair. You've just got a kind of position back. Wow. He just fucking ate like five lasers. <gasps> oh! Oh! Down a peg! MC takes a game. Maybe Army. <laughs> Maybe Rain was right. Maybe Swaggy Manual does win this. First to two, yeah.
MC makes it work. Regardless of what happens with this set, you just got to be happy about that one. Oh, that is foul. Swagman's really regretting throwing out five Falcon Punches that didn't hit shit their last match. Oh, almost gets the Tech Chase. What's he going to do now? Probably... AC Bear in the Shine would probably be a better mix-up than just four hopping and hoping it catches something. Nice. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. He clips the platform, just lets him get out for free. Hello. Hello. It's Muscat. It is Notable Fox, man. Notable Here Fox. In man. Notable Fox play <laughs> in the chat. Let me tell you, I've heard a few things, but um, we'll go. Who, who do we have playing right now? We have um, what Swag versus MC. MC, yeah. So, um. That's going to be MC all. just took uh, his third game of all time. Won That's his, really won sick. His first set, and then just beat Swagman. Swagman's really regretting throwing out five Falcon punches oh, <laughs> last game. That Look, hit thin air. I have a big, I'm a big Swag fan, but I'm always, I'm always going to cheer for the... Um, I'm always going to cheer for the new player. No, oh. I'm not even Spacey. Especially Falco. Oh. Especially Falco. Yeah, I know. And the bad space. I just realized, why am I looking at that? I mean, <laughs> the monitor is really nice to my left, but we have a much, much clearer, easier screen we could be looking into. Yeah, it's easy on the neck. Yeah. Did you enter? I did not. No, did I not? rocked no. up quite late. And my controller's broken. So. You have a fob. I do. Oh, that's rough. That's what's broken. Yeah. That's, um, wasn't the whole point of those? You, they don't break? Yep. But, uh, I guess it did. <laughs> That's Shit happens. Yeah, the magnet came loose. So. Oh, that's and just when just when you were getting your mean uh, fox secondary ready to go. My mean fox sec fox is just the fox character. Is, I've I've heard a few things. Fox I love is, playing fox, man. You love playing fox? Yeah. Fox I've is heard. so much fun. I got it from Antec. It's been great up until uh, just then, but Antec's been super cool about it and really really helpful. Yeah, my friend. Like nothing but helpful. So. Yeah, he's a nice guy. I got mine from Antec as well. Yeah. He's um. No, I actually met, um, well, met them at uh, Floating Point. Seemed like a lovely person. Yeah. I was like, Shout oh, out to you're the guy who, you're the, well, you're the person who um, made my controller. I, uh, yeah, Fox, secondary, not quite a secondary. It's the character that I just started picking on uh, Unranked to not get quit out on. And I just really like playing Fox. Nick, nobody likes playing against Puff. It sucks, huh? Huh? Yeah, nobody likes playing against Puff. Exactly. That's, um... It's just nice when it's like 10 o'clock at night and you just want to play a few games before bed and not get quit out on, so you just switch to the Fox. Everyone likes it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how's that going? How's it going? Yeah, the um, the Fox. The Fox? Why fine. Fine, it's, fine. Yeah. I've, I've heard... It's, it's not very good, but... Well, I've heard he's like... I heard a little few cheeky things from Cav. Cav making Cav. sure that... Um, stuff that you may have said. Fox being a little bit free. I think Fox is so free. Fox is so free. You know what? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. When I Because when I play Falco, when I play my secondary Falco, and I play against some random unranked person, and I'm like, wow, this character is actually so free. Then when I play against someone that actually knows how to play the game, I'm just like, wow, this character actually is pretty hard. That's okay. I'm really glad that you were able to... You hit him with the mean... I've dash, hit him with mean uh, with punish dash grab. Mm -hmm. If you just paid for that monster, it wouldn't have broken. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Ryan. My bad. I was talking about how I shoplift from Woolies every time I go there. Really? Yeah. Uh, you uh, because it's you know it's good karma. And uh, <laughs> during your say during your civic duty, by yeah, they're price gouging us, man. They deserve yeah. it. Record profits in a recession. Get a secondary. Oh, oh right. no. Math is not fun. What do you mean? I only find two characters fun to play. Just Fox and Fox Puff. Fox and Puff? That's it. And occasionally DK. DK's pretty cool. Ew, you're one of those. DK? Ew. DK. He's just so simple, you know? He's I feel like, I feel like playing against so many DKs. I'm sure all of them are lovely people. One of them in particular I know, personally, is a lovely guy. Um, But every DK I play just does the same sort of with punish. Yep. They just like... They just play really shitty Marth. <laughs> their, their entire game plan is um, it's just like with punish, dash grab, and then hope they can land five up airs. And uh, when it doesn't work, they just kind of crumble. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much my DK. Yep, yeah, that's my DK as well. I'm not. Yeah. That, I'm no better. <laughs> every my time I play MSK DK. Moment. Every time I play DK, I'm like, why am I not just playing Marth? 
<laughs> That's what you... I think uh, DK plays a lot like Puff. Just like a lot of back air. A lot of back air? Yeah. yeah. And like... What are just weird? I was, I, was not, I was about to say, okay, here we go. The one, like, the tournament set that actually is going to decide everything. But <laughs> yeah, it's a different. Got, we have three Falcos and two and three Falcons, oh, one peach. We're becoming things. one of those. We're becoming one of those states, aren't we? Yeah. You know, good. So I am glad as well. Any good. any players welcome here? Of course, except Puff. Except Puff. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, we love. We actually have a decent amount of SA Puffs. They're just all Don't online. Show up. Yeah. Like I think bots. I'm sure there's one other. Uh, Rain, do you play Puff? I Rain play Sheik. Oh, I think, worry. still? I do not know. Oh, well, you get up attack and you get crouch cancelled. When the get up attack gets crouch cancelled and you get re grabbed, that's that moment where you're like, ah, oh, shit. You play Sheik? Damn. How many yeah. Sheiks? We have, um, we have one, maybe two if Jack's playing. Yeah, yeah, Devin and Flo. Yep. Jack is uh, pretty retired at this point. Yep. You'll see him at Big Cheese Doubles. Oh, who's he playing with? Uh, me. Oh, yeah, no team. way. Yeah. I've had a few people ask um, for doubles. But honestly, at this point, like, when I'm not teaming with Jack, I'm probably just teaming with Fams because we did really well at Floating Point. Like, yeah, I, I saw really, that. Yeah, I really enjoy teaming with him. So, Puff is broken in doubles. Look, we, you know, you can you can change that last... You can take away that last word and, you know, we'll just... Um, <laughs> Puff is broken there. in. Puff is pretty broken. <laughs> oh, and I'm not saying that, like, Fox isn't broke. Fox is also broken. Puff is pretty broken. I think when Puff players complain about, like, any of the top six, they're like, oh, man, this character's right in there. Like, oh, yeah, but not Puff. Puff is, like... Puff is pretty balanced. You have to really... You have to really think to outplay your opponent. Not like those other characters. Not like Marth. Muscat putting everyone on blast, every am. Puff player on blast that John's about their character. I am. Or downplays their character. I think so. I think we all, um, I know you're wrong. You know, I can't, <laughs> coffee's like, I oh, tuned I in at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I love, I love having my little, um, little Fox session, Fox talking sessions with coffee uh, at times. What made you switch from Peach to Fox? I oh, made me switch from Peach to Fox. What was the straw that broke the camel's back? It wasn't even TSC um, coming, because I was already going to switch beforehand. I love, you love to see the free up tilts in place. When the up tilt gets punished by the dash attack, and you're just like, <laughs> ah, sh I will like, throw out another up tilt. But then it, gets weird, then it gets punished, and you're like, oh, this ain't net play anymore. Oh, no. Anyway, um, what made me switch? Yeah. I really, I don't know why. I think with, um, so when you see McLeod play Peach at like an actual proper level, there'll be a lot of like, he'll slowly, slowly take space. But even then, like, and he'll slowly take stage. But even then, he's still forced to do those things like those dash tags there, all those like, it feels like you're constantly chasing the opponent down as Peach. Yeah. And your character's not really well built to deal with it. Yep. Whereas with Fox, it feels like you completely you're able to just control the pace of the match. Yeah. Like I just love the I just love like lazy existing. I don't think the game plan should be dictated around it, but I just like being able to if someone's playing really defensive, just being able to stand back and shoot a single laser and then yep. And then like, oh fuck, I have to move now. Yeah, or just like just taking yeah. Oh, oh that was sick. That was, that oh. was so nice. I feel, when you look at like, <laughs> I feel like when you look at MC in the like player cam, he just has this moment of, like this like constant phase of just like yeah. Gee, like, oh. What's happening to me? Like. Oh, he's fucked. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. Peach is slow as fuck. Yeah, it's just... She's it's like molasses, both on the ground and in the air. But then you see McLeod play and he's, he's zooming around. Yeah. He's zooming around. Did we even update... Oh, we did. Nice. I'm glad yeah. you were on the ball for that. I was. <laughs> I, uh, if I don't, I... I've got a shot collar around my neck and nah, Kai yeah. hits me with yeah, it. Yeah, I assume Kai just yells at you. Yeah. <laughs> like, bad, bad stream. This bad is not going to the YouTube channel. No. And it was, so, wait, was that it? Or was we um, I think we have grand finals no. now. Uh, one more set. Nice. I want to play friendlies. McLeod. 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 McLeod, winners. Oh, Never uh, mind. needs to play Swagman. Get out of that seat, McLeod. You gonna lose? Where is Swag? Swaggy Manual. You are Valheim. Are you playing Valheim? That game is so fucking fun. You ever played Valheim before? No, I've I've 
honestly have no idea what it is. I've just uh, recently finished playing some uh, playing the PoE season, so now I'm back to actually oh. playing a bit of melee. You again. keen for PoE too? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it looks slow. It looks pretty slow. I'm not gonna lie. If it's um, from a PoE two is um. It's not going to be as I, it, like even I'm not expecting it to be as um developed as say how many years of PoE update or PoE like one updates there yeah. are. I'm still going to like definitely play it and play it out. But if the overall gameplay is a bit like slower, like the pace is slower than um, PoE one, then I'm just not. I'd rather just play that. Yeah. Like I played Diablo four, and that game is so slow. Oh, other than just I mean, there's so much at least in my mind. There's a lot like wrong with Diablo four that yeah people are complaining about and like. Um, but for me, one of the biggest things was it was just very slow. <laughs> just sluggish to play? Very or? sluggish, yeah. Just everything just felt like... It just, I want to zoom, zoom. That's the whole point of like... The Is whole the point progression of, um, bad as well? It's pretty bad, yeah. yeah. It's like... it's There's a lot. Um, even at like World Tier 3, it's still like... Anyway, point is though, like, I want to zoom. I mean, the whole point is like building the character up to the point where... Um, you achieve that power fantasy and you just constantly just like zooming through, destroying whatever, whether it's yeah. maps, whether it's bosses, whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it feels like you can't really achieve that power fantasy with farm. Yeah. So I yeah. played PoE a long time ago and I played a uh, some uh, uh, warlock or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, the witch? We yeah, witch, witch. And I just yeah. spawned a bunch of skeletons. And it was a lot oh, of fun. yeah, yeah. It feels really cool. You get a lot of summons in that game. You do, you know, I love playing warlock cl type classes. Yeah, I love playing, and that's yeah, that's one of the, the big things I really didn't like about Diablo 4. It feels like some um, necromancer, like summonings are just terrible. Your, your summons are worthless. Yeah. It feels like if you're playing, um, yeah, it just feels like you you what you go bone. You're like specking into bone, and if you don't spec into anything else, then you're just an idiot. Yeah. I had uh, I had a lot of. Like similar things. A lot of my mates got into Diablo 4 when it came out, played it for like three weeks, and were like, this fucking sucks. And then they stopped. It's not a um, Kai net play. God, you know, God bless top, uh, Kai and Emps, because if those two people didn't exist, top level melee would be a ghost town. They play each other a lot? Yep. Yeah, no. Nice. I still like, um, I think, what, it, what was it? Someone was um, saying they really wanted to um, be in top level melee because they wanted to see what all the discussion was. That's me. <laughs> and then McLeod just posted a link of, um, like, looking oh, for games. Ask, asking for Yeah, games asking for yeah. like, Kai responding or, like, I don't know. It's like, it's not like Top Level Melee is ever, it's not like it's just this sort of, um, fucking Illuminati society of people just talking about some random, uh, talking about random people. It's mostly just people asking for games. I need to Must get this. <laughs> That's when you game. Uh, yeah, usually around like 10 or 11 since my shifts have, um, it's got work. your number. Honestly, yeah. I'm down to play again. I, uh, haven't played recently that much. Oh, I haven't played basically at all recently, but I've finished playing PoE, so now I'm back on the grind for Big Cheese. Because if I don't, I'm gonna probably bomb out. I might bomb out anyway, but... Might bomb out anyway. I'd like to, um, reduce the chances. I would say I have a pretty consistent... I'm pretty consistent at Mages. Though. Yeah, I think so as well. I'm pretty, um, I'd like to ideally break into that not just consistent, um... <clears throat> Gets consistent fifth, fourth placing. I'd like to spreadsheet, dude. That is a lot of commitment, honestly. That's what you have to well do. Done. When you're a puff man, that's what you have to do. Yeah, I only really <laughs> ping people for games anymore, like to DM them. It's the only way you can uh, reliably get games. Hmm. What happened? What, what's happening? Social networking very underrated in the melee headspace. You have to hunt the, exactly. You have to hunt them down. You have to hunt Mar fucking players down as well. There's a lot of Mars that don't want to play. Thanks, Polion. You're a, uh, you're a G. Duh. Polion will play anyone. Poly yeah, true. <coughs> Polion to play a fly on the wall. Yep. Play ants climbing up it too. So I'm well, not sure what's happening. I think Kai still has to play swag, man. Yep. Uh, I am gonna leave Musket on the mic because my brain's fried. All right. Well, hell uh, yeah, I can um feel a lot of dead air. Maybe somebody else will hop on. Maybe Swagman will hop on. I've Yo, seen his name, so. well, I feel what after he plays. Thank you for your time, chat. We have Kai. In the, have a good we night. Have Kai in there. We're waiting for um waiting for Swag at this point. I thought these spaces down. Man. All right, Kai's going for a walk. Swagman went out. Maybe for some smokes. He'll be back for sure. Wait, he's 
played five sets and was like, fuck it, I'm going to go back to Queensland now. It's been fun. Damn, we have a, yeah, a lot of different faces. A lot of, a lot of similar looking faces. I feel like, um, who was that? There was, um, there was a Queensland guy that came down to SA a while back, played Fox. I can't remember his name. Really nice guy. I feel like the two new people we have look very similar to him, <laughs> like face-wise, but <laughs> it's just kind of tripping. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> let's see, what do we have? We have, um, also actually, let me see what I can, where is, nice, all right. To my right, we have Caleb playing Catherine because they have to every single event. We have McLeod talking to a new player. That's nice. Nice. We have two new play players whose names I actually don't know. I have to ask them afterwards. And, um... God, it is actually quite warm in here. I don't know, like, when Mason was talking about the venue being warm last week, I was like, oh, all right. Classic John. But, no, it's actually reasonably warm. It'd be nice to get a little bit of aircon or ventilation. Because right now, this isn't that warm of a night. I mean, it's getting warm but it's not that bad it's gonna be brutal in summer without like oh man I can't imagine what it's like in the smash ultimate area because that's even less ventilated that's gonna be miserable during summer oh my god 40 <laughs> 40 degrees <laughs> they're gonna need they're gonna have like these rinky dink fans going on that's just gonna be miserable and like at least to be honest I'd say the um in the ultimate scene is pretty good like both Ultimate and Melee and SA are pretty good about personal hygiene, so at least you don't have to worry about that, but like, Jesus. Like, there's only so much you can do. <laughs> there's only so, like, when it's 40 degrees and there's no, um, there's like terrible air con or not even more ventilated, it doesn't really matter if you did everything you can. You're still going to end up sweating over time. Oh, no, well, I'll cross that bridge when it comes. Hopefully they prepared and got some sort of I don't know, maybe a portable fan, something. <clears throat> so apparently McLeod coming in from losers, which means he lost the, l I wasn't there for it, but he lost the last set to Kai. That's, that's good. It's good that like Kai's taking back some. Because there was a period where they're going back and forth, then there was a little period when McLeod just started taking more and more sets, and um, yeah, it's good to like good for it to be pretty competitive. Plus, you know, McLeod can't McLeod can't win too many, or he needs to be you know, or his ego gets a little bit out of control, and needs to needs to be taken down a little peg. It's always good to see. Can't have it too comfortable, but then again, there's always um, it's not like uh, Kai's won this tournament yet. McLeod could still make his nice little run, win two sets. Presumably, um, he's going to beat Swag and therefore... And I guess they're going to do Grands where like it'll be presumably Kai coming in, like Kai coming in from winners and... Has Swag just DQ'd? They're just DQ'ing, he's left, he's dipped. Alright. <clears throat> so instead of that, we are going to have Kai versus McLeod. This is the one. This is the one that matters. No, last, last that they played that I didn't even see. That was... doesn't matter if McLeod wins the next two. Or Kai takes this one and just... Doesn't give him a chance. Oh, shit. No, I got a uh, McLeod L, not McLeod W. And we have Kai... W... Oh, it's getting hydrated. That's good. You need you need to you need your water here. This is an endurance test. If he wants to he has to play He has to he has to play a minimum of six games if he wants to win this tournament. That's if he completely shuts him out. He's he's in here for the long haul, he needs his water. And honestly good for him, you need to. I've played this 
I've played long sets where I just haven't had any water or anything to drink, and it's miserable. You just end up feeling so dehydrated, so shitty, and it's just... What's that? Oh, no. Um, I have no... Well, that's not good. McLeod looking for a one one of his earbuds already. So that's um that's mental strain right there. He should be thinking about what his com he should be thinking about his combo game in game, and all he's going to be thinking about is, "Fuck, I'm gonna <laughs> with my earbud." I need that to not hear commentary. <laughs> he's gonna have one. He's gonna have one earbud in with music, and the other one he's gonna have to hear me drone on and on. That's just not <laughs> that's not ideal. Oh, Kai with Kai with the little plushies. Those all. Oh, that 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 crashes. That crashes very. That crashes very excited. That, that crash looks a little bit too excited. That crash looks. <laughs> that crash looks like he's on something. No, they, they all look sick. I wonder who made them for Kai. Actually, you know what I'm going to ask? Who made those, Kai? Oh, okay, sure. I'm not sure if I'm... Um, are you just getting rid of them from... I'm something I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> not sure if someone made them for him or not. But, um... Anyway. So, Cloud, keep getting into a zen mode. Getting some composure. He's going to need it. Kai very free flowing with his attitude, very, very um, very loose, very looking very comfortable actually. And we need to swap those around. No contest. Okay, sure. No, oh, okay. Ooh, the trot tag. Oh, let's see if we can move him. I have no idea what the trot tag is for, but like half of Australian Smash Sisters and McLeod uses it, so I'll find out one day. So I watched bits and pieces of the last time these guys play, uh, played. Uh, Kai looking very good for a lot of games and just dying at 60 to a, <laughs> a very strong punish from McLeod and just being like, yep, that's going to happen. If you, have to, you, you still end up feeling so scared when you're at 60 against Peach. You just, you just want to back air to close out of stock and you just know if you get opened up here, you very well could die. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, who's trying to trying to hang out on top plat for just a little bit, just slow the pace of the game down, and just gets pulled out. But oh, I bring it back to even. Well, this top, oh, like this side plat looking a lot less comfortable for uh, comfortable for the spacey than you you'd like. Um, Very nice platform movement, actually. I always really love Kai's little um, Waveland back airs off side fight. Wow, just. I'm not sure if that was reaction or if it was just a call out off the arm of the uh, Tech Chase S match, but just deletes my. <laughs> you when you. Like, whenever you see the arm um, Peach, just. Kind of throw out the sneaky down smash on plat. It's like, it makes sense. Even, you can't overuse it and spam it, but like, just throwing it out now and then just to keep them honest. Not to have them just automatically initially um, jump up and try and contest top plat. And that's the thing, if you make, if you um, down smash a bit and you make them wait a little bit, then you can immediately drop down for a shield drop. Less so when you're on top plat, more so on side plat, but like, 
it gives you a little bit of breathing room if they're a bit hesitant. first up throw and then I guess wasn't confident enough <clears throat> wasn't confident enough to go for the attack chase the second time just throws him off stage and goes for some mix up on Kai's recovery that's game one I assume we're going Yoshi's maybe Stadium maybe back to Battlefield but probably Yoshi's Hello, hello. Oh, I, what the hell? Alright, I remember last time there was... Uh, one second. Yeah, I couldn't update the scores, so I was like, even after him hitting save, I remember there was something that we had to click to um, reset it, so Jeff kindly showing me. <clears throat> Man, I'm really surprised we... I'm wondering why we went here over Yoshi's. Oh, I guess we're going here over Yoshi's because McCloud's been picking it more, like, or favoring Yoshi's more as a... Um, I mean, he even counterpicks it against Fox at times. Um, I guess he just prefers the closed-in sort of space. Peach is now at above 100, so if Kai can just corral Peach to grab ledge, you can pretty effectively ledge trap her when she's above 100. There aren't many things in this uh, post-box nerf, box not being allowed uh, era that Peach can really do off the ledge, because she can't really pedge dash reliably now. Like, she still can without it, but it's way, way harder, and you just don't see um, a card going for it anywhere near as much. At which point then, yeah, she's above 100 on the ledge. Honestly, she's probably just tournament winnering and maybe doing some uh, slow double jump back to um, ledge option, but nothing's great. Ooh, that was a really, really late dare. Really safe, really safe uh, option on the cloud shield. I mean, he's doing a high aerial. He's just fading him back to make sure that he doesn't get punished afterwards. Just really playing really safe around the cloud shield. This is still so scary. This is so scary as about It's just... Because... Attacking, like, dealing a Peach when she's below 30, 40, is just, you feel like you're trying to defuse a bomb. You're trying to just go for safe, non-committal options, and you're slowly giving up space to do so, and then you just get called out and something off stage, and you're dead, and you think, where did it go? What happened? I had a stock. I had a fresh, clean stock. It's all gone now. It's just these little, like, hit-and-run options because you just don't want to fully commit. You don't want to drift in because you're worried you're just going to get, um... going to get power shielded or you're going to just... Yeah, like that. <laughs> you're just going to get power shield down smash and opened up. Oh, just throwing it out. 
<laughs> so, you know what? MSJ was right. Let's just fraud. <laughs> Let's just fraud F Smash now and then. Not even just MSJ. It's just like a lot of Falcos actually will just kind of let it rip. You know what? Why not? Damn it. Oh, okay, good DI. Really nice spot. Just constantly holding down, and getting the ace DI down. Oh, really good reactions from McLeod, actually. Just doing everything there to, like, cover that side B. Wow, grabs it from him. This has been a really good game, actually. It's been... Ah, oh, nice tech chasing. Ooh, okay. There was a moment when Peach didn't have a double jump, she was kind of just drifting towards ledge hope. And never mind. Just kill off the top. That's the thing. If you can, like, get those stocks at 90, that's just so huge. Because, like, if two or three of your stocks are killing the Peach at 130 with a back air, then, like, you're probably not winning. You're not winning unless you're winning neutral so much more. And Kai's just not at the moment. Oh, this... Yep. Well, we got one, but the bad news is we now have a minimum of two FD games. Let's... This isn't quite as bad as... um. I mean, yeah, it's pretty commonly said by now. It's not quite as It's almost a cliche that, yeah, it's not as bad for... FD isn't as bad for um, Falco as it is for Fox, but... That's true. That's true. It's, um... Kai has a pretty decent game plan as well on FD. To be honest, there's times where it doesn't feel that terrible for Fox. It's still obviously a bad stage. It's a Peach favored um, stage, but... If Peach isn't hitting her chain grabs... Like, if Peach isn't getting, like, 80 off... 80 plus off chain grabs... Like... Or even, you know, actually dropping the punishes at times, then... You get so much... Other than, like... You get so much otherwise as Fox. And like, you're just kind of blowing up. She's um dying at like 75-ish off a weight of a shine. And uh, yeah, the slides are just pretty long. So like, a lot of times Nair isn't going to be closing out the stock or putting it off stage until a pretty high percent. So you don't have to worry about just getting blown up by Peach Nair at like 70 or 80 or like you would on Yoshi's. Those power, <laughs> the, his power shots are just so good. Oh, that was uncharacteristic error there. But um, otherwise, oh, nice. like beforehand, he was just waiting out for the side B, and then when the side B wasn't coming out, and uh, Kai committed to the up B, he just went for, uh, forward more, and then just Ned. Mm, yeah, these. These full drift dares are just kind of getting murdered by these power shields right now. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, the side B looks weird, but like, there was no real other option. If the up B's, McLeod's just going to drift down. Like, McLeod was already ready to set up to go for that um, drop down, drift back a little bit, and just like, near. So, like, he might as well try and SDI this side B up as much as he can. Sorry, um, SDI to down it up as much as he can and then side B. But even so, last dog gameplay from both of them. Which, well, oh, this, okay. I think McLeod a little bit late on the uh, reaction, but still gets the grab anyway. And we're probably going to see... <gasps> drops the chain grab. Ooh, you can't be doing that. But still got so much percent off it. Probably going to be the game. Yep.
No. Oh, we got ourselves a. Oh, this is. Well, I guess technically is a. Well, it's no longer really a first two round robin. It's a uh, grand finals reset. Sound of both. Uh, wait a sec. Sound of both losers, but. Now we're going to crown ourselves a winner. Who's it going to be? McLeod full for momentum, but... Oh, this combo looking... Ah, <gasps> oh, such a shame that didn't... Didn't just... The second day didn't knock him off stage, but... Oh, <laughs> There was a spot there when Kai was on side flat, McLeod on top flat, and they were just sort of meandering around, and I was convinced McLeod was going to throw out a little down smash there. A little hesitancy from Kai as well. I think he was also he was also thinking that was going to happen. But oh, weird, weird lasers. But oh, really nice angle. Gets the ledge jazz, but then just hits nothing out of afterwards. Maybe was a little bit too early off the um, ledge dash. So just ate the input. Oh, that back air was so risky. Because I think his invincibility ran out as well. And that was definitely a weak back air. Could have gone CC down smash. Oh, that's... That looked so jank. I, it's hard. It's hard to react, obviously, but I think there's spots where Kai's getting a lot of weak aerials that could be follow up but he's just so used to fading back these aerials that he's content just to take the 13, or well, not even 13, like, have a, like, say, 10% and just, um, reset. I think there's spots where, um, he could be getting a little bit more off the, um, landing aerials, but it's also hard because I guess you don't want to, um, full drift them in because you don't want to get um, power shield at all. CC, but I guess if sent CC doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, he tried. He tried. He really tried to um, do everything he could to survive, but not quite. Well, we still have Miss Satin in play. Prolong oh, the down. <gasps> Kicks it away. Uses him to land that smash attack and then just disregards him. You hate to see it. Ah, oh, that's probably it, yeah. It's unfortunate when you, like, do that full hop uh, down at that high, you're not getting anything off like, afterwards. So it's like, you just, it's hard. Like, you have to sort of just accept that um, mentally you're not going to get anything afterwards and just try and drift away from the Peach because the Peach is going to try and. Um, like, the Peach knows that at that point then. She's going to be actionable first in that case, and going to just put out an aerial to get a reversal out of it. Ah, right, well, it's partial down smash, but the eyes properly, and it's still not out of realm of possibility. Like, it's hard because one more hit, and then a nair, and the Falco's probably off stage. Like, next Nair is probably going to just... Oh, yeah, I mean, that was not great DI, but... Even if it was good DI, the power code is still definitely gonna... Probably... Probably dead. Maybe. Has to... Maybe one more uh, edge guard interaction, but... Part of a full head of steam right now. Oh, again. <laughs> It just looks like, it just looks like right now the, um, well not, well I guess now we're out of that 30-40%, but just that initial bit just looked like the Falco was so scared to try and interact with the Peach, and I, I can empathize. Interacting with Peach when she's at zero is just spooky. Oh, unfortunate air dodge. Oh, that's, well, you know. Now they're even again. Fresh new start. Mm. Honestly, these tech, these um, platform like side plate tech chases haven't been great this set. Oh my God. 
It's obviously hard, but <laughs> probably not um, up to his standards. Oh, uh, well, still not gonna, yeah. Oh, doesn't fall for the flow rats kill. Doesn't get fade back aerial F smash. But one Yoshi, so that's gonna work. And oh, this, how did that second up? Up tilt's hitbox is bullshit. How did that second up tilt not actually hit? It's crazy. That's well, the whole point of that move is it's meant to hit both behind and front. If it's not hitting in front, then what's the point? Okay. Ooh. Oh no. That's unfortunate. Not the greatest game. But that's that's why. Nah, it's hard. That sucks. I'd be tilted as well. I mean, like, god damn it. I worked so hard to get to this point, then I just fucking threw it away. What's the point? Awful game. Nah, you just gotta, like, mentally reset. As hard as it is. Like, that game's done. Um, new game, new you. I don't know. <laughs> Going straight back. Honestly, probably the right choice. I think this is probably. I think this is. Even if McLeod is comfortable on Yoshi's, I think this is the better of the two counter picks. At least Falco. like little side plat movement there just staying on side plat getting McLeod to move up a little bit to try and um, or try and contest it and then just immediately dropping down back to stage and then being able to shark a McLeod who's already committed to side plat but so yeah just kind of using the like vertical movement almost like a vertical dash dance to uh, mix the peach up I mean, it's frustrating because it's Peach. It's like your quick burst aerials aren't going to reliably cover side plat there. So if you actually do want to contest it, you're going to have to either you're going to have to go through a pretty slow. Um, you're going to have to do more than a short hop, pretty much. You're going to do like some sort of full hop float, which is dumb. Maybe a, like a short hop up here or something. But either way, something that's way more um, committal. Something that's way more of a commit than um, just doing an immediate, like, like low float aerial, like low float nair. Damn. <laughs> oh. It's hard. It's hard. It really feels like at times, um, when Falco's on top flight, it's like the floor is lava. <laughs> He's just like, just come here. Let's interact, please. And it's not because like the Peach wants to interact because oh the Peach is trying to play cool. Peach wants to interact because she's more likely to actually get an opening off something in being power shielded or I think I remember um, Coffee describing it like Peach is a chain chomp and she will do everything she can to have you join? This matchup's gay. This matchup what <laughs> what? Because <laughs> what, Calf? Because from whose side? Because right now I'm not gonna lie. Because I'm bad. Like, you're bad. Okay, so you think Peach has it rough? I'm not even saying that. I'm just bad. You're just bad. Fair I'm enough. Bad. Look, well, there's times when I'm playing against Marfa's Fox. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, this matchup is horseshit. I hate Marf. <laughs> but I'm like, no, you're just bad. Yeah, that's the kind of energy I want to give off. Yep. You just want to give off the energy. This matchup sucks. Yeah. Yep. Fair enough. 
I know Falco doesn't like it. Yeah, Falco probably doesn't like it. Uh, a lot of times. I know Kai used to like this matchup. I have no I idea if he still likes it after playing like oh, months and months of a cloud. I really can't believe he would still like it after like. I feel like you have to honestly at this point. Like, I mean, I, I played a bunch of. I played so much Macleod with Fox, and I still like Fox Peach. Oh no, that's Ooh. unfortunate. Falco Shine not being quite as <laughs> quite as big as Fox there. Oh, oh, that was a that was a very high pitch school from you, Kevin. But that's the game. It's good. We are. Oh, they hug it out. It's already warm enough. They don't need to be. <laughs> that's all right. Huh? Oh. One sec. I didn't see much of it, but I assumed that was like. I was a roller coaster. Set. Sort of. Maybe. Uh, anyway, um, no, it was it was decent. I don't know. I feel like um, Kai probably not happy with how he played that set, but the plushies. He's definitely not happy. I'm sure he's definitely not happy. You do. You get to hear that. I assume you got to hear. Um, I assume you got to hear at least part of it. With, you know, one ear. Oh, one ear you got to hear that. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, do I have... Oh, congratulations. I'm uninstalling League of Legends when I get home. You're uninstalling League of Legends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh, I played so bad in this first set. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want anything. I, like, figure out how to play the game. I was like, the um, those sets weren't... They were better, but they weren't good. So, <laughs> good thing goodbye you, League of Legends. Good thing you figured out in the uh, second set, because it looked like Kai was still playing pretty awful in the second set. I'm not going to lie. I don't think... Um, it looked... um. A little bit sketch. A little bit sketch. A little bit sketch. A little bit sketch. I'm yeah. I don't think Kai would be particularly happy with how he played. No. I um, think there was, there was a lot of flubs. I was just, I was a bit more aggressive, so. Okay. Kai's saying he's fine. It was, it was decent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, that's random SDs. They, I don't know. Yeah. Play. They did. They lost the set. Like yeah. I don't know. I felt, I felt it was okay the last two sets, but I'm like, there was just like a lot of stuff where I'm just like, I can't be missing this in four weeks. I yeah, just, I just can't at can't. all. No, there's, there's no excuses. No, so. I'm, I'm done with POE, gaming. so I'm back on um, playing. Back, back gaming? Back oh yeah, yeah, back at the the 11 a.m. talking grind sessions, Moscow. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. Looking um, forward to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely done with the season. No, I enjoyed my season. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun. It was a good season. It was um, very fun uh game. Right now, <sighs> but. Yeah, at a certain point where you play and you're like, yeah, what am I doing anymore? Yeah, it's, it's I've, like I've, I've, I've achieved everything I yeah. need to achieve. I've achieved everything I want to you're achieve. You're just grinding for grinding and it just yeah. feels a bit empty. It's like, yeah, no, I, I, know, I remember playing those games. I yep. remember what it's like. Like, oh. I don't need to kill. I'm killing everything that I need to in like a second. I don't need to play 50 more hours to kill it in like half a second. There's yeah, no yeah, exactly, mind. exactly. Don't tell SA, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I, well, I've, been, I've been saying. I've been what? saying. We'll see. We'll see in we'll see in four weeks. In four weeks, yeah, yeah. It's um Vic's still very, very good and Vic will get um they'll have more people at uh Big Cheese. Mm -hmm. Honestly the um at the very least an SA versus Vic State crew should be really, really fun. That would be high at <laughs> I True, we got you at PM. About the vibes. About the PoE. Surely we're the better oh we were Nick vs Nick vs Moscow, that'd Nick be interesting. Moscow. Nick plays uh solo self found, so um he is probably significantly better at the actual game itself, but damn it, I play trade league, so I'm probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm yep. from. Yeah, nah. If, honestly, shout out to people that play solo or self farm in that game because they have to know a decent bit about the mechanics because you can't just farm up uh, currency and buy whatever yep. you want. You actually have to get your items. I'm like, <sighs> man, that's hard. I just just you just get currency and then yeah, you just get currency. What do you mean? What do you, what you, mean? you, what you, you mean? You have to sit on ten wiki pages to figure out what the you hell you still going sit on ten wiki pages regardless. <laughs> in that game, you have so much open. But anyway, instead of fifty wiki pages, it's ten. Instead, wiki yep, yep. <laughs> All right, I suppose that's about it. That's probably it. Yeah. I saw, <laughs> I saw Marcy. Legal, I've done with legal legends. I'm sorry. I wish you luck in your <laughs> journey. Anyway, good night, everyone. Love you all. Yeah. All right. Thank you to everyone who um, was watching. Thank you to Kai for streaming and. Thank you to all the new people that people that showed up. Wow, I came here at like eight o'clock and I was like, "Whoa, that's What's like up? three or four new faces." Hello, hello. Hey, how we doing? Hopefully, I'll how be able to make um <laughs> next tournament on time. <laughs> I, it was so good when you walked in. I was just like, "Hey, check it out. Oh, we got people here." I know, crazy. All right. Um. Yeah. How are you, man? Um. Yeah. Good. Just busy. 
Yeah, no, so. really. So, um, same thing with calf. So that's alright. Um, that's no worries, man. Like that's the thing with the locals, right? Like, uh, pretty much. If anyone like was paying attention to the SA chat today, it was like just a discussion about like, um, you know, people, uh, people talking about like, um, not just wanting to play in like the tournament scenario, you know? Mm. And um, I'm just like, well, guys, it's a like it's a bit annoying for me being like an organizer and being like hey the venue's hella available like before during after tournament yep. like get your friendlies in absolutely um not only these meetups because they happen like four till whenever wednesday and friday mm. but also at cheese leagues like i can be there at like one or twelve when we open and nobody's there, right? And also, and like, you know... <laughs> in my day, we used to play at people's houses. We Look, I, I have nothing I have nothing against the, the house sessions because yeah. they're the best ones. Mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. Like, that's the best, like, tournament gets for, like, Melee, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, Summit style? Absolutely. Oh, I just meant more just, like, showing up to, like, say, organize something, going up to some, like, say, hanging out with someone and playing, a f- you know, say, a few hours of friendlies when you can. Thank but, you, like, Marcy. It's hard. It's hard when you... It's hard finding time. But, like... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing, right? It's just, like... People are busy, and I understand that. Mm. And so, like, the whole point of me running shit is just like, oh, well, you know, um, I'm going to do it like clockwork, basically, because yep. it's like, well, I just want there to be a place where people can go to get good games. Yeah. And that's that's the end of the story, really, because it's like, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm just doing this because this is what I would have wanted when I was, like, coming up or whatever. Yeah. Right? Just being like, oh, cool, I can come here, like, Wednesday, Friday, and we have a monthly... And, like, we're doing great, right? Because, you know, back in the day, like, Street Geek fucking sucked. <laughs> like, Aww. Street Geek was ass. Street Geek was actually ass. Like, it was good, but it was also ass, right? Beginning it to play friendlies in a venue for, like, the whole weekend, awesome, mm-hmm. right? The tournament itself, dog shit. Yeah, but it's because, like, the TOs were very casual and, like, not very... Like, I... Yeah, yeah, it's super casual. But the problem was no prizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's all, yeah. Um, That was more of a... I think that was more of a street geek issue than like yeah, a damage <laughs> issue. It's not, it was not like we couldn't have just done our own shit anyway. That's actually yeah, true. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that probably is then. Yeah, 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 yeah it's a damage issue then. I think it's just it's a um not being able. To, I think the sentiment was different back then too. Yeah, I think. And then we came in. The we're sentiment like, changed, up? and they weren't able to adapt. weren't able to read the room. Oh almost. hi, Shan. Thank you. Yeah, today went pretty good. Um, thanks for stopping by. It went pretty good today, and like. I feel like I play good games. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, well, I might pack down. Yep. I, I think right. I'm good. Like, I think I played all right against Cardi. Um, I didn't think he'd played amazing, but I still think, like, it was, like, the best set we had in a while. Okay. Or at least, you know, if you combine them all together. <laughs> you, okay, if well, you I combine didn't them all together, they were all right. Well, I know? didn't see the first set, so I only saw, yeah, like, yeah. I really only saw the uh, last two. And I'm like, I mean, no, there was, like, there was some games where I was like, wow, that's really good. There was a lot of, like, really good back and forth. There was one, one point, I can't remember what game it was. There was one game on commentary, I'm like, wow, that's a really good game. But there was also some where I was just like, oh, he really just. He, it, McLeod SD'd, then Kai SD'd, and, mm. McLeod, and then Kai SD'd I mean. again. And I'm like, if oh, we, okay. We'll, we'll get, like, the, what's the word? Uh, the gold splits. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. The, the sum of best. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pack up, folks. Yep. I got a. End the end the recording. Get the fucking vods. You know how it is. Um, you know where to go as well. You know, the vods will be up on the YouTube, as always. And you can follow me on Twitter. And um, you can also I'm on Blue Sky now as well. If you look up KP's Kaiser, because Twitter's kind of going to shit at the moment. Um, I'm also on Co-host if you really want. Uh, and you know how it is. Here's all the socials. Here's Catch words I say. Don't forget, by the way, Big Cheese is next month. If you haven't signed up to Big Cheese yet already, we still have late registration open for 70 bucks for the venue fee. Um, so sign up to that because we're at 200 attendees right now. Last year we got like 290 something with all the ulti entrance. And at the moment, ulti's only at like 60 something, 63 or something entrance at the moment. I think Melee's sort of sitting at around like almost 40, something like that. Um, so. If you're a smasher in Australia, sign up to Big Cheese at site.gg slash Big Cheese 4. All right, I'm peacing out. But before that, I have to grab my phone and find someone to raid you to. All right, one second. (laughs) 
Yeah, come to Big Cheese 4 at St. Clair Rec Center on October 13th to 15th. Um, yeah, everyone's packing up now, so I'm just going to quickly find someone to radio off with. Let's see who's live on my following list. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm about to, I'm like quite gassy at the moment. <laughs> um... Let me see. Bugger it. We're going to raid Cody. Cody's doing a thon this month. Cody Showab. All right. Bye, everyone. Say hi from South Australia. And, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Peace out. Everyone.